like I would think he would go Fox normally, right? Because Fox is so great in this matchup. Oh, so is Marth. Yeah, for sure. I've heard that. Uh, I've heard from someone that at one point Wobbles said that um, Marth is like Icy's second worst matchup. Second worst. Okay. Yeah. Who would so Fox being the worst? Peach. Peach being the worst? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Peach is a good matchup. Oh, yeah. Amazing matchup against Ice. B2King does the counter for Peach. Didn't work out at Genesis, though, but... Didn't work out at Genesis? Didn't work out at Five Gods, I don't think? No, it worked out at Five Gods. Did it? I'm pretty sure Mewtwo King slapped Nintendo to Five Gods, didn't he? He might have. I don't remember. Anyways, here we go. I don't think people would let that go if Nintendo beat him twice. You know who did slap Nintendo to Hacks? Did you watch Hacks destroy Nintendo? Oh my god. Oh my god, man. After that the was like... Yeah, after the map... Oh, nice. Okay, here we go, here we go. So oh my god, that fair. So raw, right in the neutral game. And here's where they're going to feel each other out. Fork's going to be looking for a grab to start up a wobble or something. Yeah, yeah Cammy is just trying to find a way in, I guess. Yeah, he's going to find a way in. He wants to split them up. Obviously, something you want to do against all Ice Timers. There was his opportunity. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Nana doing just absolutely dodging. Nana! Nice forward air by Nana. Thanks, Man, Zachary. I love the way Nana actually does work, though. Yeah. Like She's like half... Oh, nice forward smash. Completely calls him out. Like Half the time, Nana does like the stupidest thing ever. The other half, she actually does something smart. Get up attack? Oh, the roll on stage. I was hoping Nana would do something there. Yeah. That's the thing. Cammy's got to try to take this stock without losing too much damage. At this point for Fork, it's all extra credit. It's all going to go towards that win, that W. So, I mean, Cammy's got to get that tipper up tilt. Perfect, yeah. Up tilt is a really good kill option against all, like, all the floaties. For sure. And one after another right there, he gets them both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, down tilt's a really good option in this to, uh, matchup. So are platforms. Yeah. Ooh, don't want to get caught in that blizzard. That's an easy wobble setup if you do. Exactly. And the thing is, like, that last stock, even though Cammy did edge it out and managed to keep the game even, he didn't split them up until the very end. There we go. Oh, my God. Powerful tip right Clean there. Clean conversion on Nana. You really need to make your combos on Nana as fast as possible so Popo doesn't come back to interrupt. Yeah. And I guess that's a good example of how Marth is so powerful in this matchup, is the moment that he splits them up, he can like really end that with a tip or forward smash or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. The Sopo play, though, Fork with the great Sopo, he actually managed to take a stock there. Okay. Good F smash. And that should be the edge guard. Oh, it just <laughs> slowly falls into his death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't get around that. And this is actually a pretty um, good reverse hitbox on that. Could he have grabbed Edge, though? No. Like, I guess the, the Edge would have been covered by the neutral B, for sure. But, Ooh. like, assuming that wasn't there, I think Edge grab is still an opportunity, right? Like, can you... Um, I don't think Icy's have enough aerial drift to been, get there by in time. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here's the opportunity. What? He splits him up with the three hits of side B right there. I guess that was Reed, not thinking that, knowing, knowing that it would work. Yeah. Oh my god, these down smashes. And that's one thing that I saw from Fork in the come up, is his placement of the down smash was so exceptional, and it sends you at this angle that is so difficult to recover from. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You're just keeping him on the edge. Yeah. There you go, right? He manages to slip it in there, right in between the hits. Yeah, just like Luigi, uh, ICs have like a really there. good get um, wave dash from ledge, and can cover a lot of ground. Yeah. And it can, be, it can be hard to get them, um, not let them back on stage, but at the same time, um, it, it can be pretty hard to get back on stage. So yeah. there's a bit of a thing there. Okay, now Cammy finally seals it out, or we on X. He was actually struggling with it for a while there, though. Those down smashes, he got at least four of them before he managed to close it out. Yeah. As bad as, a so as, bad as Sopo is as a character, it's, it can still be difficult to close out a stock against him as Marth. Their mobility, yeah. Just mm -hmm. the sneaky kind of attacks Ooh. that he can do. Opportunity back right here. I don't agree with that forward throw after chippering the Nana. I thought done. back throw. Um, down throw. Down throw? Yeah, okay. down throw sends them more behind us. Oh, really? Okay. You, you never back throws Marth, other than like DI mix ups. All right, fair enough. I spoke wrong there. Yeah. Okay, here's the opportunity to close out the stock, though. And uh, this isn't looking, yeah. This is looking like curtains. Oh, not the best option to go for the neutral B there. Does it? Let's yeah, that's see. the thing, like, even if, like, now, Fork, even if he does a great job, it's just with this percent, the fact that he's a floaty, he's going to die at, you know, one tipper right now will destroy Sopo. Nothing yeah. you can do. Actually, that's going to be a stock. That's a stock, yeah. So if he gets some, 
some pretty like it will be difficult for yeah sure. it will be difficult but if you get some sort of combo going some sort of edge guard catch him without double jump and bad di with a uh -huh. down smash for example that's gonna be it but can't but be annoying this back. yep yeah tries to fade back to ledge Cammy's not letting go of that neutral b yeah so what what stage do you think he's gonna uh, um forks is probably gonna go to I know FD is good in this matchup because there's no platform. That's what I was going to say. I, I do see Fork take, uh, use FD as the ca the counter pick often, but usually he's facing like a spacey yeah. when he does that. But I think the same kind of rule would apply in a sense that you can't, you don't have the platforms to escape the grab game and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Wait, are we seeing a switch? No, just okay, no, 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 fair enough. Because I do know Fork actually has a solid fox. A lot but of players have, a lot of top players have a solid fox. They all have a pocket fox. fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he did, cammy has got an even more solid fox, you know. And arguably. a Marth. And a Marth, yeah, so. Oh, is he going to do Pokemon? I mean, that is another option. Okay, so Pokemon Stadium is going to be his counter pick. Yeah, it's a good stage. There's a lot of room for Ice Climbers to just boing around, you know. Yeah, Just exactly. wave dash around. And as the platforms are few, so it can be pretty hard to platform camp. Yeah, that top platform is non-existent, and that's the place where you can really escape. Yeah, and it's none of that on this stage. Exactly. But the transformations, though, could get in the way of some of their uh, you know, their options. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Could lead to, like, a gimp setup. You never know. Oh. And Fork is a wobbler, right? Now, he did it in the come-up, and I feel like whether or not he wobbles will depend on how much his back is against the wall, right? Like, I a top player like Cammy, I don't mm -hmm. think he's going to let the opportunity slide. However, yeah. he hasn't done any yet. So. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking, because at the same time, he really hasn't found any grabs either. That, yeah, he's, he's found very few grabs, and the ones that he has found, it's been difficult for him to convert because they're either split up from each other or, like, it's just an awkward situation, so. Ooh, nice wave dash behind Tipper. That's going to be Nana's life, and gets oh. over that neutral B. Doesn't get the reverse hit, a bit too high. That's the thing about the, the neutral B is you have to commit so hard to that. You have to be sure that it's going to hit, and if you're not, then it's like a free hit from the other guy who gets mm -hmm. behind you, so. Oh, there we go, nice edge guard. It's going to be a Sopo edge guard, not bad. Yeah. Managing to keep it even with Sopo is so important from an Ice Climbers player. You have to be good when you're on your own. You can't just be that one who relies on Nana. I'm not sure I agree with Pit Fight at this percent. It wasn't really a Pit Fight. He just managed to find the hits on yeah. the um, Sopo. True. And then just waited under for the up tilt, but didn't kill. There we go. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be down there. Actually, maybe he does. I know Marth could be pretty powerful on there with like the up B. Yeah, you can kind of like send it up. Be that like it, it, the hitbox kind of goes through the entire section of the uh, the mountain there. Yeah, yeah it gets you up to the um, top ledge hitbox. Yep. Oh, Nana. Hit. Yeah, Nana just dies. Nana, why? Is he gonna like, be can combo? No, Di is out. Good Di. If only Nana actually had like a tricky recovery, like use the side B and like uh, air dodge and stuff like that. That'd be nutty. She lives so much longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, great fade back, though. Like, really denying all options for him to come into the middle of the stage. Yeah. There I've seen um, Fork do this twice now. Is he'll wave dash in or run in and shield. Yeah, or down smash or something. Yeah. Underneath uh, Marth's forward air. Yeah. And that's good because, like... It's a good option. Yeah, if you run underneath Marth and shield when he's coming down with an aerial, you, you'll shield and shield grab them. It's free grab. True. So I guess Cammy saw it coming that time. Is that all? Ooh, night, good mash. Didn't want to give away that stock. Okay. He gave him a ledge there. Yeah. Yeah. He, sh he would. He should have been able to do some sort of. Um, yeah, I guess edge guard. I don't know. Like, I, I mean, maybe Fork just felt like he was safer keeping neutral stage. But okay, here we go. Here's an opportunity. That misses that back here. And He's doing it again. Yeah, I feel like he he feels safer just keeping his positioning. Yeah. Like he definitely knows something I don't about yeah. this matchup. For because I, I don't really play this matchup on either side. For sure. sure. What's your main? Marth. Marth, okay. okay. I, I don't really play against any ICs. True. But yeah, that's going to be it. And even though we on X has been looking commanding this entire game, it's, this is the thing about Marth, is that he's really good against floaties. Ooh, Ooh. nice. Sneaks in that down air, and Nana's being mad about it. Just like called him out. Wax him a few times. <laughs> How dare you kill my man? And then disappears into nothing. Yeah. That'd be scary if Nana just went into my room, hit me a few times, and disappeared. <laughs> I'd be shook, man. I think that's grab. Is that a wobble? Oh my god! Finally, I thought I would never see one. Yeah, and manages to find the grab. Weonex's back was to the wall, 
fell into the wobble, and yeah. there's the wobble. And this is the momentum swing that he needs to keep himself in the match. He still has Nana, and he's 0%, so we are now reset at a 1-to-1 one -one stock situation. Yeah. As I was saying earlier about Mars versus Floaties, he's really good against them, but you have to play really patiently and methodically. Yeah. You can't really commit to anything. You're not as, like, and there's no easy kill moves, just edge, um, getting them off stage and edge guarding. Yeah. Well, there's a few kill moves, but other than that, yeah. And I know Camilo is definitely careful, like, capable of some really patient play, and you're seeing it now until he gets caught in the down smash, though. Is that uh -oh. going to be it? Oh, nice SDI up, getting out of that. The down throw to the down, down air is something a lot of players get caught by. Yeah. Yeah, I know you have to SDI it, but I'm not entirely sure how. Is no, that that's going to cost him a stock. That was such a dangerous like read that he had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's definitely, like I said about the floaties. If you, um, you have to play so methodically, and if a Marth is winning against an Ices, it doesn't seem like it is because the match is going on for so long. Yep. Well, it does seem like it because the momentum is always in the Marth's favor, but it's going on for so long. Uh -huh. But even then, the match could still be even because when Marth's power plays are longer. Yeah. But they're less efficient because, you know what I'm trying to say? I, yeah, I understand what you're saying. That's the thing, though, too. I, I really thought WinX had that. Like, he, he, it was a slow and steady wins the race type thing where he was edging him out of every single stock and then two wobbles at the end of the game and it really just closed it yeah. out. So. Mars neutral on the ICs is brutal, but, like, yeah. ICs punish, it's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. You if got he gets the opportunity, it's it's you're lost a stock good. Like, it's mm -hmm. the best you can have. Like Yeah. And Marth can definitely destroy ICs in a few seconds if given the opportunity. The thing is, though, that was uh, Fork's counterpick, but this is now Weon X's counterpick. And this is a strong start as well. Tipper, oh, Tipper? closing out the stock at 60%. Yoshi's being a perfect counterpick for Marth. Yeah. Easy kills. Because it's so small, there's good platforms, and like you said, it's so small. Exactly. And yeah, you, you see what, what the effects of a stage being so small, just dying to a Tipper at what, 40, 60%? Yeah, the sides of the stage being so damn close. Or the, the blast zones. Okay, this is where you said you can get a good setup into grab here, but does a great job of splitting it up. Nana's not going to make it back unless she gets on. Ra Imagine she jumped on Randall to jump back. R that um, would be nuts. Nana does jump on Randall a lot of times. Yeah. Pretty sure she would be capable of it, for sure. Thing is, this is looking really rough now because Fork's going to have to come back from a two stock deficit. Wow, yeah, that was. He's got to get wobbles or else this two game quick ones. is. Yeah. And. Cammy is going to play the Mute the King game. Oh, it just gets back on stage. But yeah, one thing I noticed Weon X is doing is right there. Ooh, oh, no. That was a great jab placement, but he doesn't get the grab. Okay. Interesting decision. But one thing Weon X is doing in neutral a lot is just jumping and being in the air a lot. Because not ICs don't really have an answer to that. Oh, catches him with bad DI. That's going to be a quick kill. So still keeping it together. Just one more stock, and he can set this game back to even. But if Cammy splits these two up, it's going to be rough. Oh, okay, here's the grab. He's going to try and hold them. No, couldn't get a conversion. Yep. Nana wasn't in place, and so he had to try, try going for some sort of handoff thing. Yeah, yeah. Something to kind of keep Marth, you know, on his toes, but... Oh, nice. Okay, there we go. That's going to be... Last stock situation. This is going to be really rough. Either we get some nice wobbles out of Fork, or... You know, or this could be Curtains. Yeah. We are oh. not really giving him any opportunity. He's staying in the air, staying on the platforms. Yeah, he's not going to let it happen. There you go. No yeah. more wobbles. Three stocks. A three-stock comeback without wobbles is, is something we're going to remember if he does it, but it doesn't well, look like it. Yeah, well, there's one, but I don't know, man. No. I want to say it's possible, but this, I really don't think. Oh, well. why, Randall? What the fuck? Randall not being the homie. Randall with his troll smile. Look at that. He, just, like, he totally screwed that up for him. Yeah. Rip the dream. And even if Randall wasn't there, I don't think um, Fork was going to make the comeback. No.